How do we analyze this? This is why I asked you to put some spaces in between for me. Okay. I'm going to name these coefficients. Where shall I put these? I'm going to put them over here. I'm going to call the coefficients um, c of k. C of k. C for coefficient. Now, sometimes the textbook will call them lowercase t. I find that somewhat confusing, but you'll see it sometimes, which is why I wanted to clue you into it. So they'll write it like this. Okay. What it means is I just want the number part. Now, you guys are used to coefficients, right? So how do I generalize this? Well, here for example, okay, I've got four coefficients I can call them. C0, C1, C2, and C3. Corresponding to the fact that this is n true 0, or 3 true 0, 3 true 1, you get the idea. Okay. Now, which one is bigger? Like, can I write some inequalities to tell me which one is bigger and which one's smaller, right? <coughs> C0 is less than C1, right? So I write this inequality. Is that okay? What inequality, what kind of relationship is there between the C1 and C2 <coughs> coefficients? They're equal. But now that I've passed over the greatest coefficient, I transition, right? C2 is not less than C3, it's bigger, right? So I'm getting this kind of shape. It's exactly symmetrical, reflecting the fact that it's just the standard Pascal's triangle coefficients. All right, have a look at the next one. Okay. Again, I've got C0, C1, C2, C3. 1, 6, 12, 8. I'm still less than, right? I'm climbing up. This one's still less than. And now I can say 12 is bigger than 8. Aha. So you can see... What you're looking for, the signal you're looking for, is there's a tipping point, right? When the less than, less than, less than, less than, less than turns into a greater than. Okay, that's when you know, aha, here I am, that's the biggest one. Or these guys equally are the biggest ones. Do it one more time, or two more times, finish it for this one. What happens? Come on, you can tell me what happens. What are all of the signs? They're all less than, it never actually transitions, right? So if it's never, if it never turns around, it just means, well, the last one must be the biggest. Okay? All right, now the last one. Yeah, you see naught, C1, C2, C3. Because I flipped the numbers around, right? In a manner of speaking, the, the change, the tipping points already happened, right? So instead of this one, we never turned around. It was an increasing function, so you pick the last one. This is a decreasing function. So you pick the first one. There you go. Okay. So what I'm looking for is something to do with these inequalities, right? Let's try and generalize this and see if we can take this approach. Uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. Where am I up to? Pagement. Okay. Mm. I'm going to try and solve for k, right? K will tell me where's the greatest coefficient. What point am I looking for? You can say it a couple of different ways, right? Um, the way that the textbook presents, and you'll see it in the HSC as well, they'll often say, prove this, and it'll be part one, then part two will be find the actual greatest one is. I want to satisfy this inequality. What does this mean? Look at it with me, okay? When this inequality is satisfied, it means that the next coefficient is bigger than the current one. Does that make sense? As long as the next coefficient is bigger than the current one, I'm climbing. Can you see it? Have a look. See, the next coefficient is bigger than the current one. And the next coefficient is bigger than the current one. And up, oh, now I transition, so I should stop. That's the one I want. Okay? So this means um, subsequent coefficients are increasing. Okay? If I can satisfy this, it'll tell me where. <coughs> The greatest one is, okay? Now, where you'll see this is, is if I divide like this, okay? Provided that there's a restriction. Can anyone see where the restriction is? The coefficient has to be positive, right? Because if it's not positive, what happens? Then it would, it would change the direction of the inequality, right? And this kind of thing breaks down, okay? So what we're going to try and do is come up with a general expression for that guy. OK? 
okay, this guy here, right? Once I've got that, then I solve him for greater than one, and I can get my value out. 